All right, we're gonna learn how to defend all the basic cheeses uh, in a little war game, essentially, um, with a uh, castle first, two dead. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. So generally, generally when you're doing the castle first two dead build, um, the first unit will arrive approximately when your castle is like 90% done. Now, this is of course depending on your map, um, but if it's like wolves, if it's a uh, raider, um, any sort of cheese, not any sort of cheese, and some standard plays as well, but uh, they'll arrive early on at approximately when your castle is like 80 to 90% done, depending on your map. Um, so what you want to do is, um, essentially against wolves, you just pull some workers, you continue building your second, then uh, you just do your build order as planned, and then you just try have to uh, micro your best. So uh, try to do the, you know, the walk through the mineral line, hold position, attack, you know, pull back your workers, that sort of thing. Continue to build wolves, continue to build workers, you should be fine as long as you have um, good enough micro. Um, so that's two done. I guess I'll go over this the same thing with one Danix, one Danix man, like the destroy call build. Uh, but we'll, I guess we'll do the um, the castle first build as well. Um, so two Rex Raider is probably the hardest build to defend uh, with the castle first two den, FE two den. So what you really want to be doing is you ideally you want to know really early and cancel your second den and put down a, a tower. That would be ideal. Um, but a lot of the times you're not able to do that, um, and you don't realize it's a 2-rex raider until it's too late. Um, how do you tell if it's a 2-rex raider? Um, generally, the, for 2-rex raider, raiders number 2 and 3 will come, like, right after the other, uh, within, like, 5 seconds of each other. So if it goes from 1, and then, like, 30 seconds later, 2, and then, like, 2 seconds after that, there's a third raider, that's when you know. Um, at that time, you probably have like maybe three or four wolves, three or five wolves, something like that, if you haven't lost any. Um, you want to cancel your worker production, you want to immediately yes. build a tower, and uh, try to do your best with micro. Um, yeah, and obviously, you don't. ideally, you don't want him to uh, go across your wall. Um, so if you're going to tower your natural, and then if they flash across, you're just going to pull yes. all your workers into the natural. Um, if you really want to, if you have the enough money somehow, then you do go for the castle or the tower in your main as well. But uh, a lot of the times, that's not going to happen. And uh, if they don't flash across, it's really not worth it. So... Yeah, so just, uh, you really want to be on top of your worker and wolf micro against raiders, so making sure you mineral walk, try to get surrounds on, on the raiders, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how you defend that. Against uh, 2-rex archer, I think 2-rex archer is probably the easiest to defend with 2-den. Uh, so generally you'll see um, the push coming uh, with your first wolf, so they won't push with just like one or two archers, they're going to wait until generally three or five archers. So your first wolf is going to go across the map and it's probably going to see nothing. Uh, if it sees no natural, immediately tower, of course. Um, yeah, and then once the push hits, hits it'll probably be like five uh, archers, you want to pull all the workers, A move, as you wish, sire. and as you're A moving, um, just put that in tower in front of your base, right around here. Uh, it's going to depend on the map, of course, but uh, essentially against archers you want to put your watchtower in front so that uh, they can't outrange your tower. If you put it like behind here, they can shoot down the house, they can shoot down the wolf's stand. So uh, as you pull your workers, you're going to put down a tower at the front of your base. Um, and obviously you want to pull, down, pull back your workers and your wolves as they get low to save them. Um, and then, okay, against Werewolf Rush, uh, it's very, very difficult, but yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty much similar to what you would do with uh, Rax, uh, except you would go a lot more towers. So, um, Werewolves, once they smash, they're not very scary, but before they smash, they're really, really scary. So, uh, once, so with the first wolf that you have, 
Uh, once it gets across the map, when you see no castle, immediately you're going to put down a tower. Yes. So that, yeah, so with this build, if you go across the map and see no castle, immediately tower. Um, obviously you can't go across the map with the first raider, uh, first worker, or I mean the first wolf if you, if you're, uh, if the opponent goes raider, so in that case you'll just have to, uh, judge just looked on the, looking on the number of raiders, but, um, yeah, against werewolf cheese, essentially, uh, yes. immediately you're gonna put down a tower. This is gonna be a little bit later than you really would like, because you you're just wish. gonna have um, compared to like a raid opening, it's just gonna be later because the first wolf, the first scout is a lot later. Not a lot later, it's but it is significantly later than the raider opening. So, um, so yeah, tower immediately, um, and of course, um, just make sure you um, if you haven't, if you if this uh, second wolf stand doesn't complete, isn't part of your wall with your castle and the mineral line, then uh, what you can do is you can just put a a, ha a house. Uh, because this is five hexes, you can put a house right in the middle, and that will mean that it's, uh, obviously this would be this side, like here, at the front. Um, but that will mean that the werewolf is too fat that it can't go in, it can't get through. Um, and so you essentially buying time for the uh, for the watchtower to come. Uh, I'm gonna restart this because the AI has started to attack. But yeah, and then when that when you when you realize with your first wolf um, that there's nothing other natural, ideally you want to go into the main just to scout, make sure it's not nothing any crazy. Um, generally, if they are doing the werewolf thing, they'll have a tower in the main. So they'll have like a tower here, and uh, if they're really good, what they'll do is they'll wait until it's like 99%, and then they'll stop building on it. Um, you want to keep your wolf there to try to force them to complete the tower so that they uh, waste the minerals. And then once they complete the tower, you're just going to come back into the natural um, and uh, just keep your wolf there. Um, so essentially what you do is the first wolf you put it here, or you send it here, as soon as you see no uh, castle, tower, and your second and third wolves are going to scatter around. So the build um, essentially they'll be like the second and third wolves will be about here-ish, maybe here-ish on the map, depending on how good your mic, uh, your mic macro is. And so as soon as you see no ca no no natural tower, send one of them on one side of the map, send the other on the other side of the map just to scout for any kind of crazy proxies. Um, and then after after you defend the initial little wolf. Um, then, and you still see no castle, no natural, that's when you, uh, you know, you tower up the main, so normally this wouldn't be at the main, right? So you'd have a tower right here. Um, after you defend the first werewolf, you chase it away. Um, if there's no uh, castle, then tower in the main as well. And advance workshop, once you have the money. Obviously, you'd still be producing units and, and workers as well. Um, and then with the, the first unit you get out of your advance workshop would be a ballista. Um, and then I guess I'll talk a little bit about um, microing against a werewolf. So microing against a werewolf. So the werewolf, um, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, ability is smash. Uh, you will see the visual indicator that he raises a club, and also uh, most of the time uh, it's just in the beginning of the game, so the sounds are weird. But you'll also uh, see here a uh, audio indicator, um, the j that thing. Sometimes it doesn't work, but a lot of times you'll hear it like that. So. Uh, once you hear that, you want to, as soon as you hear that, you want to back away with your units. As you wish. Um, and then you want to essentially bait it out. Um, just because you hear the sound and the animation, and you see the animation doesn't mean they used it. They can cancel it like I'm doing. So you got to uh, be aware. Right. So once, so, um, so if they get through your house that I told you about where you put it here, 
um, maybe you don't have a house. Um, what you do is you just hold yes. position your workers. Um, I believe two workers will fire. be sufficient to hold position and mineral line. Yes. As long as you position it properly. I think something Good like that saw. should work. So uh, the wolf can't get through. Uh, if you have like a like an A moving unit over here, um, the, the werewolf will try to attack the A moving unit. So obviously uh, two wor two workers might not be easy. So honestly, I just say just use like four-ish to create a wall. And then uh, once you yes. hold position, um, let's uh, the the werewolf does have like a little bit extra range. So it might be able to still attack uh, your, your wolves, but uh, if you hold position your wolves as well, the attack priority will mean that uh, the werewolf still wants to attack the wolves. So essentially hold position like this and it will just like derp out. Uh, once that happens, they're probably going to smash. So once they smash, and they actually smash, you hear the sound and the, uh, the arc. Um, that's when you're free to just mineral walk through it, try to get a surround and kill it like that. So, obviously you want to be pulling back workers as they get weak, pulling back wolves as they get weak. Um, but once the smash is used, they don't have it for another 15 seconds, I believe. Yeah, 15 seconds. And so that's when, that's your opportunity to surround it. Um, and then, of course, doing all the other things that, like I said, getting the tower, um, getting the second tower in your main if you don't see... Uh, natural, and if you still don't see a natural, also going for a advanced workshop just to deal with the um, werewolf ballista or werewolf airship that uh, generally comes. Um, okay, what else is there? Um, there is the tower rush. So tower rush again uh, is pretty good against uh, FE2 Dan. But also, it's kind of not. Um, yes. Be aware of people just uh, just blocking your your house, um, and then it makes it annoying because they can just build a tower I right at the bottom that. without uh, you really having it. But I guess it doesn't really matter because you're not going to have your wolves done as quick. So, um, but that is just something to keep in mind. Um, if you see the tower and it's starting to build. Uh, if you immediately have two workers attack it, then it will go down and it will not finish. So as you can see, this is slowly going down. Um, but if you don't see it immediately, and you're a little bit too late, uh, you can just uh, pull three workers and it will go down. Um, but yeah, obviously you want to try to target down the worker, but sometimes uh, they'll will be able to uh, circumvent that by you know putting stuff like doing stuff like this, where their worker's safe, or they'll do stuff like uh, use your wall against you and like oh no, what am I gonna do? Um, you can still attack it with three wo three workers here, by the way. As long as you micro your workers correctly. There you go. Um, what else? If there is more, if they like do, they sometimes do like a tower out of vision into another tower in vision. Uh, once you see that second tower, you start to build. Immediately send a unit over there to see um, if there's a different tower behind it. So sometimes there is a backup tower. If there is a backup tower, um, then immediately just workshop and. Uh, once this tower finishes, you just try to repair your buildings, try not to die. Um, but if there's only one tower and it's starting to build, or if it's like, even if it's just one tower and complete, what you can do is you can just pull all your workers and all your units and just attack it. Uh, target down the worker first, of course, uh, but you should be able to kill the watchtower. Uh, the watchtower actually does 30 damage per shot, um, and your units has 120, so it'll take 4 shots. Um, for your units to die. If they target your units properly, correctly, uh, what will happen is that, um, as, or what you should do is you should pull back your workers as soon as um, it takes damage. So um, as soon as one of your workers take damage, you should pull it back so that it doesn't uh, get 
target it down. If they don't use select their watchtower and attack certain like specific units or specific workers, yeah. then you can just wait and uh, you can hold it back at the last second. That's so for example job. here, I'll have it uh, attack all my workers. Whoops, stop. So it will attack all the workers like this. Right, so now it's going to uh, target down them one at a time. Right, so what I would do is if I just leave it and I take two shots and then pull back, it will die, probably, or not even. But generally, you want to pull it back after one shot if uh, if you want to do it. But as you can see, workers are really good against the towers. Uh, you should be able to defend with minimal losses. Um, one base cata drop. One base cata drop is pretty easy to defend. Uh, with I think uh, with your first wolf if you go across the map and you see there is no natural same thing uh, with beat with uh, with mech instead but instead of uh, I mean okay let me let me okay so first wolf goes across the map sees mech sees no natural immediately advance workshop and uh, your first your wolves number two and three do scatter around just in case it's a proxy mill but um, you should be fine. Immediately get a ballista, and then just constant wolf and worker production should be good enough. Mm. Yeah, okay, if you are going for the one den, uh, rather than the FE, honestly, most of the things, you just do the same thing. You're just going to have an easier time because your first scout is a little bit faster. Um, so, for example, uh, with FE two den, you won't be able to tell if it's a two uh, two racks immediately. Uh, but if you're doing the the destroy call build, um, you'll send your wolf across the map first, so you'll basically get a general sense of if they're on two racks or if they're going on uh, going to take a natural. So um, yeah, the defense doesn't really change if you're going for. Uh, the FE 2DEN. It is just harder, in my opinion, with the FE 2DEN against most builds. So, But that's the price you play for going greedy. Um, hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, let me know.